Hi, this is Pastor Ken Lang of Calvary Chapel of Syracuse. We've been looking at the book, The Spiritual Disciplines for the Christian Life by Donald Whitney. Paul the Apostle said, Discipline yourself for the purpose of godliness. Our purpose in practicing the spiritual disciplines is to become more like Christ, to know Christ and to make him known. We've mentioned that Entering, we are entering the gym of godliness, and we will participate in different exercises to strengthen our spiritual muscles and our spiritual bodies. We've looked at Bible intake, including different components of that exercise. Just like there are different exercises to strengthen one specific part of our body, there are different exercises for Bible intake. We talked about Bible reading and studying. We talked about memorization and meditation. We've talked about biblical application, that is doing the word, being doers of the word, not hearers only. Today we'll look at prayer. Simply put, God talks to us through the Bible and we talk to God through prayer. This is one of those disciplines that can feel fruitless or even frustrating because nothing seems to happen when we pray. It's been said, one of the reasons for the lack of godliness in the church is prayerlessness. Did you know that the average pastor prays in less than seven minutes a day? That means he basically pray, prays when he eats dinner. I would like to look at three things about prayer, then we'll talk about some practical things that we can do to practice this vital exercise. First, prayer is expected. Jesus said to his disciples in the Sermon on the Mount, when you pray, in Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 and 7. Notice he didn't say if you pray, but when you pray. Paul said, devote yourself to prayer in Colossians 4, 2. To pray without ceasing in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Martin Luther, the great reformer, said, As it is the business of the tailor to make clothes, and the cobbler to mend shoes, so it is the business of Christians to pray. Secondly, Prayer is something that can be learned by all of us. The disciples said to Jesus, teach us to pray. If prayer is learned, how can we do it? First, by just praying. No matter how awkward it feels, just do it. When you start a new behavior, it always seems a little bit strange. Andrew Murray said, read about prayer, talking about prayer, listening to lectures about prayer, those are all very good, but it won't teach you to pray. Just pray. We can learn about praying by praying with others in a prayer meeting. Listen to and learn how others pray. Finally, we can learn about prayer by reading prayers in the Bible or reading books upon prayer. Prayer is something that's expected. It's something that's learned, and it's also something that's answered. The psalmist said in Psalm 65 too, O you who hears prayer, to you shall all flesh come. My friend Dr. Kosha used to say, We serve a prayer hearing, a prayer answering God, a wonder working God. But this begs the question, why doesn't God answer my prayers? He does. Sometimes the answer is yes. Other times the answer is no. And still other times it might be wait or later. This is where faith comes in. Do I believe that God really cares? He does care, and he listens to our cries. Tim Keller said, We would answer our prayers exactly the same way God does, if we knew what God knows. Now let's talk about some practical things that we can do to develop the muscles of prayer. First, pray the basic prayer that Christ taught us in the Sermon on the Mount. This will get you started in this exercise. He said, Pray after this manner or in this way. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Do several things with this prayer. First, pray this prayer every morning and every evening. Also, notice that the pronouns are, are plural, our, we, and us. Maybe you could replace them with personal pronouns like my, me, and I, my Father who is in heaven. As you get familiar with it, expand the different sections. For example, under your kingdom come, 
You can pray for, for specific people you want to see come to know Christ. That his kingdom would come to them. Forgive us our debts. You could confess specific sins and ask God's help to overcome them. Give me today my daily bread. Ask for specific things for you and for others in need. As you participate in prayer, it will become more comfortable and it will become more natural. In addition, you could even add the prayer of Jabez that's down in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10 as something that you can recite and expand like the Lord's Prayer. Well, that's it for our time today. I would like to encourage you to pray. Since prayer is expected, will you pray? Since prayer is learned, will you study it and pray? Since prayer is answered, will you pray? Our next time together, we'll look at the discipline of worship, how we can develop a deeper relationship with God through glorifying Him through song and contemplation. Till then, may the Lord richly bless you and keep you.